Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to access the card catalog for the Longmeadow High School and I'm also going to show you um, how to place a hold on a book because that is how you're going to request books this year. And finally I'm going to show you a different um, look for um, searching the card catalog and you may find that you like this look a little better so I'm going to show you how to go back and forth between the two um, types of searches. Okay, So first we are on the Longmeadow High School website and to get to the library you hover over academics and you go about halfway down to library and media center and once you see the picture of the scary donkey then you know you're in the right place. We are on the home page and you can see right here is the card catalog. So again the card catalog is it's an old term there used to actually be um, catalogs full of little tiny cards and the cards had the title and the author and all that stuff and you would have to go through the little card catalog and find um, what book you wanted. But in our case, we have everything online, so you don't have to do that anymore, but it's still called the card catalog. So we're going to click on the card catalog, and you can see Follett Destiny is our, um, is our software. You're going to choose uh, Longmeadow High School. And from here, you could just search the catalog, but I would like you this year to log in because you have more um, capabilities when you log in. So if you click log in, you can either log in over here using your Google account or you can click sign in with Google and then choose your school account. Okay, So I'm going to log in. Okay, So it doesn't look very much different. Um, you can see I have a My Info and then now you can see your name would appear over here. So now I click on the catalog. Okay. And I'm going to click this to unlimited, which is where it would be normally. So this is what it would normally look like when you get in here. Okay, You can type in a keyword like mystery or science fiction. You could, if you knew a title that you wanted to search for, you could type in the title. Um, you could even, if there's an author you really like, you could search that way as well. So I'm going to go ahead and just type in mystery. If you hit enter, you're going to just do a keyword search. Um, otherwise, you could select one of these and search that way. Okay. I also want to show you down here, you can narrow your search results. So say you only wanted ebooks, you could select electronic, electronic books. Um, say you're in Ms. Fedorov's class and you only want books that are in her classroom library, then you could select that here as well. Okay, but for right now, we're just going to do unlimited. So I'm going to hit enter and it's going to search for the word mystery. So right now it's sorted by title but you can sort by author, you can sort by relevance, you can sort by call number, which is its location in the library. So um, if we scroll down, you can see these are alphabetically, Adventures of Sherlock Holmes, Agatha Christie. Okay. Okay. So uh, let's just pick a record. So um, you can see they have the, the title, um, or sorry, the cover page. If you click on this blue hyperlink, it will show you more about the book. The big one here, though, is you want to make sure it's available. So this does say one of one available, and that means that um, it's available in the library for checkout. Okay, you can either click details or you can click on the title itself to get to the next page. You can see it has a little synopsis, a little summary of the book. It also has keywords down here that would be um, something to search for if you wanted to look for this book. Okay, I want to show you Title Peak. So this is Title Peak. It's a service that we pay for, and this kind of gives you a deeper dive into the book. So you can either click the picture or click the word Title Peak, and it's going to take you to the information. So um, it's over here. It will take you right to what you need. But so you can see American War, that's the cover image. It has a summary. It has author notes. So it talks about where the author is from. Um, it has book list reviews, which again are um, book list and Kirkus are reviews that librarians use um, quite extensively to see um, how books, how well books are received by the public. Um, and then some of them 
do have a first chapter um, excerpt. So you could read um, a first, the first chapter and see if that's something that you might want to check out. Okay, this is actually quite extensive, you can see. Okay, so we are on a different, it opened a different page for this, so you can click close window and it'll take you back to follow it. Okay, if you wanted this book from here, you could click hold. And then it's going to tell you, you have a hold requested for American War. Please pick it up by 921. Um, again, I'm not going to be that fast. I will. This sends a notice to me that you would like the book. And then what I'll do is I'll find the book in the library. I will pull the book um, and put a sticky note on it with your name on it. And I'll set it on a table outside the library for you to pick up. I will try to send you an email when it's ready. Um, that way you won't be walking past the library every time every day, you know trying to figure out when it's ready Hopefully um, I'll be able to process them quickly, but we we just don't know how the year's gonna go So I don't want to over promise um, so That's how to do it within um, The regular library search now. I want to show you a different type of interface So if you go over here There are some different tabs here, and I want you to click on destiny discover Okay destiny discover and this gives us a really cool looking, um, fun library interface. So again, you can see right here, it has all different topics. These are eBooks. And if you keep scrolling over, you can see um, all the different eBooks we have. And because I am logged in, I could just click on one of these eBooks. Okay, I can open it right on the page if I want to, okay? So say I want historical fiction. This is going to search for all the historical fiction that's in the library, okay? Again, you can search by relevance or you can search by most recent is what I recommend because those are the newest to the library, okay? And so you can see right here, it's in, okay? It would say out if it were out, okay? Um, this one has the sublocation of Fedorov Classroom Library. So again, Ms. Fedorov has an extensive classroom library. So if you are in one of her classes, you can um, search for books in the classroom library. If it doesn't have a sublocation, then chances are it is just in the regular library. Okay. So um, if you want to know more about the, about the particular title, you click the blue title and it gives you um, a summary of the book. Okay, you cannot view Title Peak um, in the Destiny Discover interface. Um, so again, if you want that other interface, you would need to be in the other, um, or if you want more information, you would have to be in the other one. Okay, from here though, you can hold it. Okay, and again, it says hold is available now. You can also, you can give it a review. You can, you can say, you know, it's five stars. You can um, view reviews. You can actually write reviews as students. Um, as long as you're logged in, you can mark it as a favorite. Okay, there's all kinds of different things you can do in here. And what's nice is you can go between the two interfaces. So again, if I want to go back to the other one, I click Destiny Back Office. And it takes me back, and I click on catalog, it takes me back to the other, um, the other look, okay? And again, here, you want to make sure that if you need a specific sublocation, that you're choosing that, okay? So hopefully you guys can be pretty self-sufficient this year with, um, with choosing books in the library. I know this is, this is different just because usually you would ask me for recommendations or I would pull books for you, um, for you on a cart that you could look at in your classroom. So this year you're going to have to do a little bit of work on your own. You can also, um, you know, Google different titles, um, to see if it's something that you'd want to read. And then you can look and see if we have it for our library. Okay. Um, so that is the card catalog in a nutshell. If you have any questions, you can always email me. I am always available to answer questions and give you some help. My email is kkennedy at longmeadow.k12.ma.us. And happy reading.